the other thing that i have seen is that after getting into energy monitoring you're not setting any baseline so now let's say you got lots of machines in your shop floor or in your factory but you're not setting a baseline that you know when five of our machines are working at optimal then this is the current it should consume if it they are above optimal or if they are taking higher command then you'll know if they are below taking below the current or maybe something is failing you'll know so until unless you set a baseline you will not know what is happening on the shop floor or in your factory so getting a baseline and creating that baseline as 100 is very good and which will help you a lot in long term monitoring because when you're doing monitoring you want result oriented monitoring and not just simple monitoring so i would request all of you is to get a monitoring solution in to have something which is baseline without baseline you won't be able to succeed or get good outcomes from your monitoring solution so setting a realistic baseline over the past few months is very good it will help you detect any anomalies it will help you see if your uh, acid or if your motor or pump is overheating if it is underperforming if it does not have adequate load then you will be able to find and you will be able to solve then the third and the last point which i would like to speak is i have seen a lot of energy monitoring solutions the customers people are not going for harmonics why why are you doing this to yourself it's rather you don't have a solution at all not go for harmonics because harmonics are the single biggest culprit in energy so they are the ones who cause lots and lots of problems and with the solution you want a chance to make amends if you're not going for monitoring of harmonics and what's the point of tool solution so what do harmonics do harmonic create distortion distortions in your voltage line distortions in your current and they create problems they'll overheat your motors they'll overheat your capacitors they'll even wear down your capacitors they create lots of issues with capacitors they really don't like capacitors they'll overheat your cables so these are the viruses in your factory that are running freely and if you're not monitoring the viruses then god help you because i know that if you're not feeling well if you're feeling feverish you will take a dolo why because you know that is something you need to do but what about the viruses that are going in your energy first you're not even monitoring them now you just want to avoid them but why if you are able to save money by monitoring harmonics and why not do you face problems of your electrical equipments breaking down at certain time if yes then harmonics can be the culprit do you see your cables heating up and your motor is not performing well then it might be harmonics a problem now you may ask me that why do you think harmonics are there in my factory the single biggest reason is harmonics are there when there are vfd motors or when there are servos or when there is a lot of electrical equipment now if you have got equipments like vfd servos computer servers etc in your shop floor then you need harmonics monitoring and once you know that there are harmonics then you can go for different solutions 